Good morning, everybody. It's October 6th. That's the opening day of Utah Rifle Open Any Bull Elk Hunt. So I got my stuff. I got ready. Got my orange on. Got my backpack, shooting sticks, tripod. I decided to bring my spotting scope because you never know when you're going to see a big buck. Something cool. So I did bring my tripod. And then, of course, I'm going to grab this. Weatherby 30, 378, and these, if you hearing protection, I'll put those on my head right now. This is gonna go start my truck, hop in and go, because I have to get up to the knob, the glassing knob that I like to glass off, and uh, it's gonna take me a little while longer to get there today, because I'm, I'm gonna go up higher than I usually do. It's not as cold as I thought it would be. It's overcast right now, and I think it's kinda actually trapped some of the heat in the valley. I'm not gonna lie, I've just kinda like, Going out for fun, just gonna do a morning hunt. If I don't see anything, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Going up to Northern Utah. Got a little bit of a drive, need to head out right now. Catch you guys on the glassing point. We made it and we're, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes late. I don't think we missed out on anything. Funny thing is, at the end of September, I came up here to look for deer and ended up seeing three elk. One cow and two bulls that at the time were alone. The cow had been living here. I'd been seeing her like every second or third day now the bulls had got pushed in here and you can see this phone scope video that i'm playing right now when the bulls came over the ridge and were working these ridges in front of us they had their mouth open they were tired it looked like they had been bumped it's not the first time i've seen elk in here but i'm telling you what it's very very rare for how many days i've been in this canyon i have rarely seen elk but when i do see them they're coming in and they're holding tight in these really thick oak brush draws. And when they do that, I could typically find them either bedded or I can wait for them to step out in the evening. There's elk, but I'll tell you what guys, there's not many of them. I'm honestly banking on hunting pressure from different directions to push them into this thick oak. Just trying to see if one of these bulls decides to show up in here. And if so, we'll make a play on them. And if not, like I said, I'm just out here for fun. <sighs> So here we go guys. Guys, I was not expecting this at all, but I just found a freaking stud bull. Holy crap. I'm getting some phone scope footage of him right now. He's got a group of cows. They're way too far away. I don't know what to do. I don't know if there's any hunters around here, but this thing is a freaking tank for up here. I think I'm gonna get ready and go, but holy smokes, we're on a big bull. Opening day, open any bull unit. Freaking with a rifle. This is insane. Guys, I'll get some phone scope for you, but I have to go now. If I can make it down this mountain safe and get up the other side, I think I can get in position before they, they get too far deep into this canyon. They're out of my sight now. A second bull came over the hill. So there's two bulls over there, but I doubt that second one is anywhere near as big as the first one. And from what I can tell in the video, uh, he's a six by seven, big back end, big thirds. I'm telling you guys, that's a slammer for this unit. Any open bull hunt, that's a great bull. Oh man, from what I can tell, there's no hunters around because if there was, they'd probably be shooting at that dang thing, but I'm still nervous. If I can get down this mountain quick, I think I can get up the other side before they get too far down in the bottom on their side. So, whew, I, gotta, I gotta slow down now, I'm gonna have to climb this beast. Okay, come on, let's go guys. <sighs> okay, I gotta slow down. This freaking hill is so muddy from the rain. People who say it doesn't help you to be in good shape is a liar. I create a lot of opportunity by being aggressive like this. Once I get to the top here, I'll be able to see him. I'm telling you guys, I want to get as close as possible. Here we go. No gunshots yet.
We did it. Oh, my ears are ringing like crazy, but we freaking did it. Opening day. I think I missed the first shot, which I'm not surprised whatsoever. Got him that second shot. Uh, put a third shot in him. Took a tumble. Holy smokes. 520 yards with the weather be 3378. It's 818 right now, guys. First video I clipped of him, 740. 38 minutes. And he's dead. <laughs> 38 minutes from basically the time I started glassing. We have a dead bull. Freaking unreal. Guys, I never had any clue that bull was anywhere near this area. I didn't even have any clue that a bull of that caliber would be in here. <laughs> I woke up a little late, got to my glassing knob. I'm not kidding, guys. One of the first places I glassed, I glassed these elk. And I've never even seen elk right there before. I'll have to watch the footage, but he didn't, he didn't even react to that first shot. I think I missed low. Luckily, he didn't run. He didn't know what was going on. And uh, was able to hit him. And we have a bull down. Opening day. Any bull hunt. Freaking unreal, guys. I'm still in shock. Still in shock. Well, it's going to be pretty brushy getting over to him. We'll make it. We will. We'll make it. We'll get it done. Sounds like my buddy Chandler is going to come help. And I'll tell you guys what. I am already so thankful. He's willing to come help. I thought he was actually out on the mountain hunt on the mountain hunting with his buddies but for whatever reason he decided to stay home this morning i'm not sure why i need all the help i can get i'm already super super happy that chandler's gonna come help super appreciative but i got a canyon to cross and a lot of elevation to gain well there he is he's piled up right above that rock right there looks like he's pretty tangled up he took a couple rolls on the way down i'm like literally right on top of him i know i am i still can't see him here's where he came down look at his tracks tumbled oh. blood smearing he's just right right there walk up together with you guys here wow mm. What? Oh my gosh. Look at these devil's tines. Had no clue we had these giant devil tines. I did see this in the video. What a cool bull. Oh wow. What an incredible experience. He is tangled up in here guys. This is gonna take me some work just to get him out of here. Just to get him to where I can have him laying on his side. Look, he's all muddy. Been rutting hard. It's only October 6th. They're still rutting. This area is where I grew up hunting. This is where everything started. This is where I started packing my camera. This is where I found sheds not far from here. The first sheds I ever found were right around here. And to come up here and kill a nice mature bull on an open tag on this mountain. Pretty special to me. Couldn't be happier, guys. Holy cow. Happy you guys watched. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna take a minute just to sit down and soak it in, take a moment, and then try to untangle this thing. Cut that down the dotted line. Male, the sixth. We're also going to notch the month of October. There you have it, tags punched. This is gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna try to pull his head out of there. Put the camera down there. Alright, well it's royal.
cow is cool. Oh, glad he didn't roll too. Look at that, guys. It's about as big as they get up here. Not a lot bigger. Yeah, sweet. What a way to start opening day. Solo, any bull, rifle elk hunt. I want to say thanks to Thompson Long Range. Those guys helped me set up my Weatherby and dead on. Those guys are great guys. They've helped me and Brian set up a few different rifles. So I want to make sure I say thank you, Mark. Thank you, Scott, for your time and your knowledge. Taking the best photos I can with a self timer and my cell phone. I don't have my good picture camera because I'm using this big camera to film on. It's time to work on it. I'm still in shock, like wondering how the heck I ended up with this stud on this hunt. I'm pretty lucky. I got Chandler, his two boys, and his wife's gonna come up to come help. And then Brian Schiller might come up. Kill a Schiller. <laughs> Hopefully he comes up, man. I love that guy. I love to share the mountain with him and, and a pack out. And I can use the help, I promise. This would have taken me all day to do alone. Thick necks. Once you get them started, it's a little easier, but you gotta get all the way down to the meat first. I'm making progress. I've got half of his body caped off and pretty much the shoulder and the hind quarter is ready to uh, come off and just in time because Chandler and his boys are right around the corner. I got these cheapies that'll hold quarters and then I got this black ovis kit. These guys are black ovis. Great people. Utah company. Freaking love those guys. Here comes my backup. The pack <laughs> crew has arrived. I needed these guys this time bad. Pretty wild oh, for right up there, huh? Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, bud. Oh man. Oh, man. That's so good. Hey, I'm stoked for you, dude. Yeah. Thanks, fellas. Thanks. Man, dude, I'm glad you guys are here. That's <laughs> awesome. Look at that. I, had, so cool. I, had, I didn't see those because dude I didn't look Here I didn't look is. at him very long. Chance, will you take that bone saw and uh, where do you want him to cut it off? <laughs> Not a <laughs> jerky <laughs> flavorful, but it's, it's moist jerky. <laughs> <laughs> that alone is burning the delts. That's a good bag right there. Body. We'll see you at the bottom, brother. Yeah. Like I said, I'm God, glad these guys came. <laughs> you would have been been here till Monday. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Awesome like, bowl, I'm man. so happy you guys came. That would have killed me working on that all day. Awesome bull. Congrats, Eric. Yeah. They're just feeding me. Look at this. <laughs> we got to energize here before this. Plane. They had a Mountain Ops uh, blaze shot too. So much sugar right now. <laughs> I keep stuffing my face with these Oreo things that are super good. Like I said, man, I'm lucky these guys came to help me because like that would have taken probably all through the night. Just because of trips back and forth and trying to handle that big bull oh, yourself. He was so big. Moo cow body big. What a beautiful day. Look at that last bull. Oh. Got a bull spotted. He's in the scrub. Eric's battling trying to get through this scrub. Oh. <laughs> you ready for this uphill? Dude, my legs are quivering. Oh, well, if you fall, at least I can document it for you. Oh, boy. Yes, sir. So that's what life's all about right oh. there. Okay. Heavy packs and sore backs. <laughs> Guys, good morning. Happy October 6th. I am uh, packing my bags with my wife. We're headed to Seattle to go to another surprise birthday party. My good friend Tony, oh my gosh, that I'm stripped. It's turning 40. Seems like all my friends are uh, hitting the magical number of 40, which uh, it's hard to believe, to be honest, but we are heading to the Pacific Northwest. Seattle's a great place to visit. Definitely 
glad I don't live in the Northwest anymore, but I sure like going back. Should be a heck of a good time. Uh, Tony has been a good friend of me of mine for a long time. And one of the main reasons I learned how to fly fish, learn how to catch steelhead. He's a really, really good angler. And um, also had the chance to be with him on his very first archery elk hunt a couple years back. So he's been on a few of the original steelhead fishing videos when we were on the Olympic Peninsula and just an all around great guy. He's also been on the Meat Eater podcast with good old Mr. Steven Ranella, talking fishing on the Washington coast. But here's the best thing about this morning so far. I get a text message from Eric this morning at 8.33 a.m. He sends a message to Casey and I, BBD. Today is also the opener of the Utah Any Bull Tag. And that dirty dog sends us a photo. See, look at that. Check out that bull that he has on the phone scope. Eric just shot a freaking rad bull here in Utah on the any bull tag. He just said, B, I'm not gonna lie, I am the luckiest guy. I swear, I had no idea this elk was up here. I almost slept in. I just about decided not to go up there. But by the time I got up to my glassing point, I was running a little bit late and I happened to glass over to an area that is very familiar to him. He spent a lot of time growing up hunting in this zone. And lo and behold, there is a herd of elk with this incredibly unique six by seven. I think the pictures are a little hard to see because of the lighting, but that bull is awesome for an any bull tag. And uh, Eric is certainly collecting up the meats for uh, Team Hush this year. That's his second incredible elk of the season. And uh, I know he's really excited because Walker, his brother, wasn't able to get a deer. And I know when he called Walker this morning to tell him the news, the first thing Walker said is, hey, um, do, do you think I could have some elk meat? So I think Walker's gonna be real excited. Filling up meat in the freezer. I really uh, would love to get up there and help him, but we gotta go run to the airport, catch this flight to Seattle. E. I'm proud of you, buddy. That just goes to show you guys, just getting out in the field makes a world of difference of whether or not you punch a tag or you don't, because you just never know what's gonna happen. He'd been scouting in this area a little bit for the last couple weeks, saw a couple smaller bulls, but really nothing to speak of elk-wise. And out of nowhere, they just happened to show up and he just shot a great bull. So just getting out in the field, it's half the battle. Uh, we will see you guys probably from Seattle. My Try to mix in a Seahawks game. That's my team, my NFL team. And uh, I'm sure it'll be raining because it's all it does in Seattle is rain. But I hope you guys have an awesome day. And E, so proud of you for getting out there and taking another amazing bowl. Good job, bud. Good job. Look who made it home. I finally got here. And man, I gotta say thank you to everybody who helped me pack that thing out. Like literally, lifesaver. Appreciate everybody who came, Chandler, Schiller. Lisa, all you guys, thanks for coming. I just want to say thanks to those guys for help packing this thing out. I would still be up there and it looks like it might rain tonight and that would have that would have been no fun. Oh, those guys big time. I told them all, like, come get some elk steaks. Plenty to go around for all of us. They all seem pretty stoked on that, so.